Welcome to Collecting Chaos. This is a video on how to collect comics. If that's what you want to watch, don't go anywhere. Now, people that buy comics basically fall into one or two categories. This is real basic stuff. They're either investors or they're collectors. Investors are exactly what it sounds like. They purchase comics with the goal to make money. And it doesn't matter if they're buying them for a quick flip, you know, make a fast buck and get out, or if they're buying them to keep for a couple of years and then try to sell them. Your goal is the same. They want to make money. And they're more concerned with condition than they are in the content of the books. They could care less about what's inside the book as long as it's going to sell. Hmm. So condition is everything for them because a 9.8 or above will sell a whole lot better than a 5 will. I'm not going to really address those. Um, they're not what this video is all about. And there's a lot of channels out there that does it address exactly that so you might want to check them out too then you have collectors and collectors buy comics usually for the art story or because they like a particular character they tend to hold their comics long term now they'll occasionally sell one or two or maybe trade some to get something else they want something they desire that you know and condition is important to them, but they'll take a low-grade copy if it'll fill a spot in a run. They're less concerned with making money, and they tend to have large collections. Now, it's, imp it's possible to be both a collector and an investor at the same time. A pure collector, someone that just collects and never sells anything, they're kind of rare when it comes to comic books. But how do you start collecting? Hmm. Who can you get comics from? Why would you want to in the first place? Well, when I started collecting comics, way back many, many years ago, before most of you were probably born. When I first started collecting, the easiest way to find new comics was to go to a drugstore, convenience store. They got these little spinner racks, and you would you'd uh, get them off the spinner rack. Bookstores would sometimes have comics. Uh, once in a while, you'd find a bookstore with a few back issues in it. And you could trade with other people. If you knew other people that collected comics, you could trade with them to maybe to get comics, or maybe they'd sell you a couple. Sub -sub subscribe to them. You know, we could do subscriptions back then. And they had these neat little ads in some of the comics that, that had people that would sell back issues. You could write them, they'd send you a list, and then you, you know, it'd take months to get one or two comics. But the whole thing is you could buy comics that way. Yeah, that was then whole different story now whole different market now you, you can still find comics in some stores a walmart and target uh they probably carry three to five packs or three or four packs some of the uh liquidation stores will have packs of five to ten comics you go to a comic book retailer, a comic book store. Yard sales might have, have them. Uh, flea markets might have comics. And, of course, online. You can buy comics online all day long. eBay, uh, Instagram, everywhere has got them. Uh, Amazon. Uh, I think there's even some available through Walmart. Their Walmart, Walmart's online store. Walmart does not sell those. Third party vendors sell those. So just type in comic books in your favorite search engine. 
you will find a lot of them. So that's uh, that's a good way to do that. Now, what kind of comics are you interested in? That's kind of important, too. Once you have a few comics that you've picked up, maybe in a, in a maybe you went and bought a uh, a random assortment of comics from an online retailer. Maybe eBay, you bought a uh, a mystery box. You know, you got a bunch of comic books. Read them. Look at the art in them. See if you like any of them. If you find one you like, okay, that might be one you want to collect. You might want to collect that title. Maybe you just want to collect that character. Um, maybe the art just blew you away and you want to collect that artist. All of that's good. All of that's a way to do it. But make sure whatever you're collecting is something you like because otherwise it's not very satisfying. Now, you might have seen a TV show like Star Trek or Babylon 5. Both of those have had comics. Uh, published with them. Star Trek has had a lot of comics published. Uh, Gold Key published Star Trek. DC published Star Trek. Marvel published Star Trek. Yeah, there's lots of them out there. Uh, if you like westerns, yeah, there were a lot of western comics published in the past. If you like mystery, horror, superheroes, whatever you like, romance whatever you like there is a genre out there there is a, some comics devoted to it maybe you just want to collect a certain publisher maybe you're a marvelite and that's all you want to collect is marvel maybe all you collect is image maybe all you want is dc comics the superman the batman the wonder woman that's all good and some people just like the covers they see a cover they like that goes in their collection they don't care one way or the other about the characters or the story, or anything, it's all about the cover. That's fine. That's a good way to collect, too. Some people follow one or more artists. Uh, Bernie Wrightson, Neil Adams, Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, Jack Kirby. Those are just a few of the names, big names in comics. There's no right or wrong way to collect. There's no right or wrong thing to collect when it comes to comics. It's all up to you. Now, where are you going to keep your comics? Now, ideal storage for a comic is in a cool, dark place. Where do you usually find cool, dark places? And the closets. The places you don't want to have your comics is in the attic. Attics have a wild, wild fluctuations in temperature. Very hot, very cold. It'll destroy the paper pretty quick. In addition, most houses, if they end up with, with rodents or other types of vermin, they're going to be in the attic for sure. And they will definitely destroy the paper. Basements. Basements are cool. Basements can be dark. Basements tend to be damp. If it's damp, you're going to get moisture. If you get moisture, you're going to get mildew. If you get mildew, your comics are going to get ruined. Basements aren't a good place to store them. Closet, cabinet, those are good. You know, there are people that have entire rooms devoted to their collections. Entire rooms full of comic books. Can you imagine that? Oh, I can. I have one. <laughs> when should you buy comics? Well, this is kind of tricky because... For most collections, the time to buy is when you see it. That's not always true with a comic book. Comic book is condition sensitive, very condition sensitive, just our, just like most antiques are. Uh, but even for the collector that doesn't plan on ever reselling a comic book, Condition is still important because condition determines the value. And you got to talk a little bit about, about value because a collector is going to pay money for a comic. 
most collectors don't want to pay $100 for a $10 book. Most collectors don't want to pay $10 for a $1 book. I know very few collectors that are willing to pay $10 for a $3 or $4 book. So when you see a comic, let's see, you see that one comic that you've had your eye on for a while. The guy wants fifty to a hundred dollars for it. Ah, check it out. Go online. Use your phone. Everybody, pretty much everybody has a smartphone now. Use that phone. See what the comic is worth or what it's recently sold for on eBay, or in other places. And then decide: is it a good value? Is it a bad value? To do that, you have to have a, some idea as to condition and what what it is. I'll go into that in a later video. I've gone into it in the past, but I'm going to do a shorter one. Don't be afraid to make an offer. Guy wants, has a comic book. You see it's recently sold for $80. He wants $100. Offer him $80. Offer him $75. Even. The worst you can say is no, or maybe he'll negotiate. and You'll reach a price that both of you are happy with. Don't offer $10 for a $100 book. That's just insulting. If you see it sold recently for $110, the guy has it for $100, do not offer him $10. It's an insult. $90, $80, yeah, sure, why not? Don't offer him $10. Why? Why are you why are you why are you even interested in collecting comics? Is it the story? Is it the art? Are they the covers? Maybe it's the character, the genre. Maybe you have your eye on investing in them. Just like what you collect, the reasons to collect are many and varied. And there's no right reason to collect comics, just as there's no right way to collect comics. If you see someone say, you have to have this comic. If you don't have this comic, you don't have a collection. That comic doesn't fit your collection, you know. It's a it's a Spider Man, and you collect westerns. Unless it's Spider Man in the Old West, it doesn't fit your collection. Why would you want to buy it? Don't buy into the hype. You know, you gotta have this comic because in two months it's gonna be worth a thousand dollars, and it's only fifty dollars now. Yeah, don't buy into the hype. Even if it does go up to a thousand dollars in two months. In five years, it's probably going to be right back down to a reasonable price that you can afford. Newer comics, they fluctuate like crazy. They go way up real fast, and they drop almost as fast. Older comics, they tend to hold their value a little bit better. If you pay a little over the current market value for an older comic, chances are in five to ten years, it's going to be worth more. Well, it's not a big deal. So that's my um, who, what, when, where, why on collecting comics. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, thumb it down. It's okay. I won't be offended. Give me some comments. Give me some feedback. What did you think? It's all good stuff. And uh, I'm always willing to listen. In the meantime, as I'll close every video, before you handle your comics, your collectible, whatever it is, wash your hands. It's good for your comics, good for your collectibles, it's good for your health. And I'll see you next video. Bye.